So the last three years, we have reduced our branch space by about maybe more than 30%. We have um, a reduction in, in countries such as South Africa, Nigeria, and Kenya. We see even in, on, on technology such as ATMs, a reduction in transactions, massive reductions in branch transactions, but uh, an explosion in card and digital transactions, uh, exponential growth. And, uh, and, and, and the beauty of, of, of digital, it's not just automating processes that are old and slow processes. Uh, if you do anything on an app, you have to totally redesign what you do. You don't have five steps. Uh, you at best have two or three steps. And so whatever you do, you need to design your whole organization so that you eliminate all of that, get it done very quickly, and so it removes all the friction for, for, for people that use that. It removes all the friction for internal staff that work in call centers. They can suddenly see the whole client uh, environment in, in one pane of glass. And, and so it will have a desperate effect. Then you get to artificial intelligence, you get to robotics, uh, you get to cloud. All of these technologies have the same thing. It produces enormous efficiencies. It produ produces unbelievable resilience in doing everything right every single time, no, no deficiency. And uh, ultimately, it, it actually does end up displacing people. And so it is a, re a huge, huge focus for us uh, in our organization. We started focusing on this about 18 months ago already, uh, both here and, and in Africa. And uh, we haven't seen massive reductions in headcount. We're in the process of, employing, of deploying a lot of technology still at this stage. But uh, we're retraining people. Last year, we retrained almost 1,000 uh, IT engineers from old technology to be able to work on the latest technology, new ways of working, agile development, uh, DevOps. And, and so it is a complete, and, and for, with those skills, they can actually go anywhere in the world. And so South Africa has got great skills. But it is the lower end where the real problem lies, and for young people where the real problem lies. And I think in South Africa, things like the CEO Institute and things like that, that focus on trying to help create jobs for young people is a critical thing, and that's a task that all of us have and, and should play a role in. But if we don't, this is a time bomb. If you look at the global industry, I think everyone will agree that the greatest threat for banks, uh, full stop, is cyber security. It's, um, it's, a, an, it's a nightmare of unbelievable proportions uh, if you, if you deal with this. We do, on average, in South Africa, 25 million transactions a day. Uh, and if you look at our cash flows, if you get something wrong at any point in time, um, you can imagine what happens. Uh, and if you look at the sophistication in, 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 in cyber attacks, uh, it's not just um, an institution or a part of an institution. By way of example, over the Easter week in Zambia had a, a nationwide uh, attack on, on everything in Zambia. And, uh, and so if you're a participant in that economy, you're right in the middle of it. And, and so I think, uh, and the IIF now has a special group focusing on cyber security globally. Uh, it is most probably the fastest growing industry. And you can imagine, as you try and make life easier for customers, uh, uh, the more difficult it is to, to have the right control and to, to balance this back. And the sophistication that goes into this is just disproportionate. And so I would say, without a doubt, banks have, I think, now learned how to deal with created market operational risk quite well, but cyber is not like robbing a branch. You can rob the entire bank, and you can rob more than what the bank has, because <laughs> banks have got overdrafts with other institutions, et cetera, so it is a real nightmare.